What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Bora FedEx Amateur Series Season 4, race number 21 from Iowa. This is the LCQ, obviously. Starting on pole, you have Joshua Wilhelm and Keegan Alsup. Row 2, you have Riley Spurley and Kyle Kesey. Row 3, you got Alexander Russell and Al Hunter. Row 4 is Dakota Owens and Matt Flood. They got Carlos Wood and Carl Scholes, Ryan King and Caitlin Winters. And then uh, Jack Marks rounding out the field. I apologize if the, the commentary is a little weird in this one. This is the first video I'm filming in my new apartment. So I don't really know how, how like loud I should talk. I, I just, I don't really know. Kyle Kesey nearly dumping Keegan also, and then getting down into Dakota Owens, his teammate. So Kyle not having fun with those JGR boys. Ooh, the leaders in the wall, Carl or Carlos Wood getting turned around. That's no doubt going to be a caution. It is. Oh, it's not going to be good. Riley Spurley getting turned around. Ooh, he saved it. Pretty good damage to the right front of that in Brady 4 Chevy. Now, obviously, top seven advances. So, we'll be back to see what just happened. Here we go, watching Carlos Wood in the 19. Looks like he's going to get turned by Caitlin Winters. Oh no, Dakota Owens kind of goes down there and just kind of gets into him. He does a really good job keeping it off everything. And we're back for the restart. Pace car's getting ready to pull off. Here we go, coming to the green to mark halfway through this LCQ. Alexander Russell is still your leader. Then you got Dakota Owens, Matt Flood, Carl Schultz, and Keegan also Brennan got your top five. Everybody did pit under that caution. Right now, the final transfer spot is Jack Marks, and the 27 green flag is out. Alexander Russell leads him back. Dakota Owens look into the inside of the 43 for the lead. Going turn number three side by side. Matt Flood might try taking him three wide. Dakota's going to clear Alexander Russell. Does a good job keeping it off the wall. Three wide for third. Lap 8 of 13. Matt Flood to the top spot. Here comes Keegan Alsup, who won the Traxxas Truck Series race a couple days ago. Oh, Dakota Owens getting pinned up against the wall really hard by Carl Scholes. Looks like both cars will be able to continue, but man, that was sketchy. And Keegan Alsup is your leader. We'll be back to see what just happened. So that actually wasn't the caution. Ryan King and Al Hunter, the two Chip Ganassi racing cars, Joshua Helm should kind of, yeah, Joshua Helm does cause that. Not a good day for Chip Ganassi racing, obviously. Hmm. Oh, damn. And you go, just, ah. Pretty hard hit. We'll be back for the restart if there is one. Nobody DNF'd off that crash. We're coming back to the green for a one lap shootout. Keegan Alsup is your leader. Then you got Matt Flood, Kyle Kesey, Caitlin Winters, Alexander Russell, Carlos Wood rebounding off that early spin. And Jack Marks continues to be in the final transfer position. One lap to settle it. This will be one of the craziest laps in Bora history, let me tell you. Green flag is out. Matt Flood looking to the outside of the O2. I don't see that working very well. He's going to try getting back in the line. Kyle Kesey spinning his tires in third. It's going to be a race between the top two. Keegan's going to get a better run off the corner, but Matt Flood is there. Oh, Caitlin Winters. Oh, and Alexander Russell hard hit. These two were both in the show. Before that, coming off turn number four, it's going to be a drag race. The 0-2 and the 24 make contact. Matt Flood will win the LCQ. I know Keegan's not going to be happy about that, but at least he made the show. Before we go look at the official results, let's go take a look what happened to Alexander Russell and Caitlin Winters. Alright, they were both running 4th and 5th with one lap to go. They were going to be in the show, man. They go 4 wide. Caitlin kind of bounces off Kyle Kesey. And, oh, man, what a hard hit for that 43. Alright, we're back to look at your official results. Alright, looking at your official top 7 goes Matt Flood with a the win. Then you got Keegan also, Kyle Kesey, Carlos Wood, Jack Marks, Josh Wilhelm, and Riley Spurley. Dakota Owens just missing out. Then you got Ryan King, Al Hunter, Carl Schultz, Caitlin Winters, and Alexander Russell. Uh, we'll be back for the FedEx Amateur Series Season 4, race number 21 from Iowa. Drivers, start your engines. 
What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Bora FedEx Amateur Series Season 4, race number 21. If you didn't watch the LCQ, I apologize if the commentary is a little weird this t in this uh, video. This is the first video I'm actually filming at my new apartment, and it's currently 11.24 p.m., so I don't really know how loud to talk. It's a Tuesday night. But anyways, on pole, you got Glenn Dewitt and Damian Stone. Then you got David Cervantes and Landon Finway. And uh, Ansel Meadows, or Anakin Swanson, there we go. And Gustav Odenberg, Ansel Meadows, and Keegan Alsop. That's your top six. Coming into today, this is the final race of round two. Glenn Dewitt is already locked into the next round, as is Caitlin Wilhelm and Keith Stevens. So there's still five spots left. And seven drivers trying to, uh, or not seven drivers. Ooh. Ooh. Glenn Dewitt getting put in the wall. Gustav Odenberg's going to somehow lead lap number one. Is there not a caution yet? There is a caution. Oh, it was a big one. Ooh, Landon Finway and Glenn Dewitt making contact. How about Wies von Schmidt, man? He needs to get around today. David Cervantes is going to get squeezed into the wall. Damian Stone's going to get involved a little bit. Dylan Ebrahimian is around. Oh, this is not a good place to be chilling. Oof. Alright, we've actually seen what just happened in every wreck. Alright, so this took a long time to find the cause, but Ansel Meadows in the 9. Looks like he's going to get hooked by Dylan Ebrahimian and Derek Amel. Down into Kyle Mess. He does a good little switcheroo save there, but the wreck itself happens back here, man. Paul Wright, Hayden Meadows. Carlos Wood in the 19 got turned around in that exact same way in the LCQ. Ooh, Wilhelm Schultz is in it. That's a chaser in the 90. So really not a big, big wreck. All right. Um, right here, David Cervantes. And Stacy Wilhelm, just a little bit of contact. Stacy got eliminated in the last cutoff race a couple weeks ago. So, we'll be back to the restart. Pace car's got to pull off. Coming to the green, Damian Stone is the leader. That means he has a lap lead bonus point, which is huge because coming into today, he was 8th in points on the bubble, 12 points to the good. So let's take away current running positions aside and just go based off bonus points earned this race. He has a 13-point lead. Those who need a good run today, Daniel Williams is 12 out. Gustav Odenberg, who was leading at the time of the caution, I believe. He is 14 out. We just want Schmidt in the 17, who was running pretty good earlier. He is 18 out. And then Wilhelm Scholz, who was involved in that wreck, is 24 out. Damien nearly hooking Derek Hamill. All right, boys. Did we complete a lap? Oh, no. Scott Ford's around. Tough break. Ooh, Richard Sweet, man, going for that bonus point. Nearly wrecking Steve Love. He's in a J uh, junior motorsport sandwich. Oh, Richard Sweet, the leader's around. Damian Stone's in it. Keegan Alsop. Oh, Daniel Williams. Oh, no, man. Damian Stone's in it. Oh, we'll back for the re- or We'll back see what just happened. So this was after the caution. Scott Ford was obviously the original caution. Landon Finway, the chaser in the 12. He's going to get hooked by Gustav Odenberg, another chaser. And just... Man, does a great job keeping it off the wall. Like, kudos to him. That was a great save. But obviously, the big one. Three wide for the lead. It's an RCR and Junior Motorsports sandwich. And, man, Keegan also nearly flipping that. Oh, name Keegan is Derek Hamill. Keegan getting nailed by that 77. All right. Where's Scott Forward at? There he is. Ooh, Chaser Keith Stevens is in it. Good thing he's already locked into the next round via points. Caitlin Wilhelm, the 45 as well, got a little bit of damage. She's won last week, so she's still in the locked into the next round. We'll be back for the restart. Bringing it back. 
Coming to the green lap, 13 of 38. A couple chasers are already out. Daniel Williams on a 39 probably just got eliminated. Same with Louis von Schmidt. They're both on the outside looking in coming into today. And a 38th and 39th place finish is not going to be good enough for them. Gustav Odenberg, who was on the outside looking in, 14 points out, I believe. He's leading the race. You see Glenn do it third. Landon Finway fourth. Uh, Wilhelm Scholl is involved in that first crash up to ninth. And David Cervantes tenth. So a couple chasers inside the top ten here still early on in the in the going. Elena Finway is about to turn his teammate Glenn do it. He's going to do it. He dumped him. Oh! Hard hit into the inside wall. Hopefully that's not a caution. He is. That is a caution, naturally. Oh my god. Okay, maybe this is a caution because damn. Someone's dead. Oh! Oh, Damien Stone's in it again. Glenn do it's upside down. Jack Marks is barrel rolling. Is that a... What the fudge? Alright, what actually just happened? All right, watching the bubble driver coming in, Damian Stone hit a 12-point lead. I don't know if he. I don't really know what happened here. Let's see. Oh, that was already happening at this point, and just hook Anakin Swanson, the 27 of the 22, just dead, dead on arrival. So the wreck had already happened at this point. Interesting. Kalen Wilhelm was in it. Oh, Carlos Wood. Okay. She just didn't turn in on time and up into the 19. And just goodness, man. Oh, not looking good for Damian Stone. We'll be back for the restart. Pace car is off. You can see who Dean after off that one. You got Glenn Dewitt in 34th. Damian Stone losing a piston in 33rd. Um. Caitlin Wilhelm, 31st. Oh, man, Damian Stone has four wins this year. Imagine if he doesn't advance. Gustav Odenberg is your leader, though. This is not what Damian wants to see. Coming up to 20 laps to go. David Cervantes back into the top three. Wilhelm Scholz, man. Basically in a must-win situation. A lot of purple spoilers up towards the front. David Cervantes does lead that lap. First lap led of the day for him. No caution. All right, we Gucci. For now, uh, Wilhelm Scholz to the top spot. Danny Coffey and try taking over. I think I just seen someone get dumped back here. Oh my God, Landon Finway's in it. Oh, so was Richard Sweet. Oh my gosh. All right, the Iowa Corn Rec Fest 6,000 apparently. Ugh. I'm gonna see what just happened. So I thought I seen Hayden Meadows get destroyed. That's gonna be by his own teammate Ryan Winters. Landon Fenway came in like a wrecking ball, bro. Oh, Richard, sweet hard hit. Oh, back for the restart. All right, see who all retired off that one. You got Richard Sweet in 28th. Landon Fenway up to 24th DNF. There's 21 cars remaining on track. Coming for 15 laps to go this time by Danny Coffey is your leader. Wilhelm Scholz up to second. And then you got Gustav Odenberg, um, Keith Stevens. And Ty Morrow inside the top 10. Man, Gustav Wimberg blocking Keith Stevens all the way down to the apron. Yo. How about Kyle? They stinger Keezy up inside the top 10. I don't see that every day. Man, Keegan also just got bullied back there. Three wide for the lead. If you're Damian Stone or anyone else that's close to making it right now, oh my gosh, Wilhelm Scholz chases around. If you're anyone that's close to making it right now, you want to see Keith Stevens get the win. Strictly because, oh, strictly because he's already locked into the next round, so a win won't change anything. Oh, Damian, or Damian, David, there we go. Wilhelm and David, they're both out of this race. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> Max, what just happened? Jeez, Christmas. Wilhelm was being aggressive. He was in sink or swim mode, man. He was 24 points out. He wasn't going to make the chase unless he won today, and he was going for it. The best run he's had since he won at Bristol way earlier in the season. Right here, it looked pretty good, and then he just got pegged. And it ain't even done yet. David Cervantes is about to come in like, what's up, dude? God, he's going to flip Ryan Winters as well. Ugh, we'll be back for three star. The pace car is off. He's Hugh dean after off of that one. Wilhelm Scholz getting 20th. David Trevano is getting 19th. So 16 cars remain on the lead lap. 
And we have nine laps to go. Keith Stevens in second, Gustav Odenberg in third. Riley Spurley with the lead. Keith Stevens trying to get by him. Now 31 has been through heck and back and look at him. How about Ty Morrow, man? Came out of nowhere here. He's breaking the top five. Gustav Odebrecht's and turn him around. Daniel Colt's in it. Gustav just snuck right through that. I don't know how that happened. And God, the commentator's jinx. I'm sorry, Ty. I think that finally just killed Keegan's car. He's been involved in almost every crash. Oh, I hate wreck fest guys. You guys know I don't restart races. We back to just happened. Watching Ty Morrow on the double zero. Looks like Kyle Mest is going to turn Daniel Colt around, and Ty almost had it saved. Forrest Winters seeing a pile in. Pretty shot. I don't understand how pretty got airborne right there. Let's see what happened to her in the 44. Oh, man, that 13 went flying. All right, yeah, we'll be back for the restart if there is one. If there isn't one left. Pace car is pulling off, so you DNF'd off that one. Oh, man, you got Ty Morrow in 15th. There is eight cars remaining on the lap. Four laps to go. Surely we can finish this some gun under green now. Three laps to go. Oh, Keith Stevens in the lead. Riley Spurley going for his first career win. Steve Mullins going for his second. Yeah, got Gustav Odenberg in the chase. Where did Damien end up finishing? He was on the bubble. 33rd. So... Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good that Gustav can make it 14 points out. Yeah, I feel like Gustav's going to take final, the final spot away from Damien. Riley Spurley going for the lead. White flag in the air. Oh, and Keith Stevens is going to turn him around. Oh, Gustav's in it. Did Keith already, or did Riley already race back? He didn't. Or he did, I guess. Oh my gosh. This might be one of the worst amateur series races ever. Of course it comes in a cutoff. Riley Spurley's going to be the only one here. Wow. What was this race, guys? Wow. Desperate times, man. The only car crossing the line caught up. Riley Spurley is going to win at Iowa. <laughs> what the hell just happened? <laughs> Watching Kyle Mest here and Keith Stevens battle for second. He just squeezed him. <clears throat> Excuse me. Steve Love piling in. Daniel Gittero. Josh Wilhelm. Oof. I'm back to look at your official results. All right, Riley Spurley, you're winning photos up on the top right. Now your official top 10 goes Riley Spurley with a win. Keith Stevens retiring. Only one car finished this race, boys. Um, on the lead lap, at least. Keith Stevens getting second. Gustav Odenberg probably taking the final the final uh, transfer spot, I guess. Now Way getting third. Kyle Mest fourth. Steve Mullins fifth. Steve Love sixth. Josh Williams seventh. Daniel Gero eighth. Jack Marks ninth. And Forrest Winter running out your top 10. Notables outside the top 10. Ty Morrow 15th. David Trevante is 19th. Willem Schultz 20th. Um, Richard Sweet 28th. Caitlin Wilhelm 31st. Damian Stone 33rd. Glenn Dewitt 34th. Weas von Schmidt 38th. And Daniel Williams 39th. <clears throat> that was the race. One very good. Hope you guys enjoyed it, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Congratulations to Riley Swirly. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Scream your name Have you hit him in the ass Never let off the gas Till you rode into victory lane He said, boy, do you know How it feels when you're running three wide Cause if you daytona bound Let me wonder you're in for a ride